collaborated with Jound. It's maybe has to be it has to be up there with maybe the most the most the most on brand, the most um, harmonious, and the most uh, perfect collaboration I've probably seen in a long, long time. Especially off the back of rumors about Jordan collaborating with Dior and all this sort of bullshit. If any, if if ever there was a synergy in terms of uh, aesthetic, in terms of um, design codes, in terms of just you know appreciation for each other's work, I definitely say ABC and Jound. If you're familiar with uh, Jound, you would know that. Or if you're not familiar, Jound is an image mood board blog thing that started a few years ago by this guy called Justin Saunders, who's now affiliated with Kanye and Virgin, all those kind of guys. And essentially, it was kind of my go-to place for um, you know just a kind of temperature check on what's going on currently in culture even though it was mostly justin's vision of what he kind of like his aesthetic there was loads of really uh, cool architecture loads of actually let me just put up here on screen so you guys can see it yourself but i'm pretty sure most of you are aware of what jand is loads of cool images of um vehicles um interior art architecture design bits and pieces loads of kind of interesting you know um miscellaneous items that you would be down for but just a really cool image again an image mood board it came during the era of maybe it was kind of pre-instagram so that kind of idea of creating you know some some instagram influencers have those uh, feeds where there's loads of really cool um uh really refined pictures of you know plants and really exotic locations this was maybe uh that me this maybe predated that to some extent and again it was a really clever way of justin to kind of um showcase his design aesthetic without being too shouty or without being too boasty if anything you know what it reminded me of it reminded me a little bit of when asap yams had that blog where he basically used it as an opportunity to um promote asap rocky and, and asap mob's work without being without it being intrinsic without people being aware that it was actually somebody that was managing or that was you know kind of uh, setting the tone of being the creative director of asap mob doing it that was a really clever way of doing it right so justin saunders had his blog loads of really cool images and then in between here and there he'd post an odd thing that he was making himself whether it would be a particular hoodie whether it be some trainers or it would be the cut of his jeans and that kind of that kind of um gave a little bit of legitimacy behind it and of course some collaboration did afterwards kind of you know added to that way as well but as you can see with the aesthetic you know loads of nice real pale tones loads of really good simplistic stuff very contemporary very modern so it made complete sense that they'll collaborate with apc especially knowing if you know anything about justin Saunders, you know that he's a, a complete you know psycho about levi's and apc denim so that's when i saw this collaboration i was super happy for the dude because i'm sure this is definitely a, a collaboration that he was probably dreaming about and now the lookbook has finally come out and we've got some details about some of the items included and it looks fucking incredible really to be honest um it's what you'd expect from a giant apc collection loads of um really neutral colors loads of really clean designs again the, the devil's going to be in the detail of a lot of this stuff you have to have it to hand to kind of appreciate it i'm sure that he geeked out about the weight of the yarn about the finishes on the cuff about the particular hue and color how it washes like all those details are going to be something that you're going to have to live with but i think overall just from what i've seen on the screen so far it looks incredible so let's go through the lookbook there's a really cool lookbook here with a dude holding a dog um the jumper here has got a kind of is it is it it's not embossed it's sort of like a raised down in script uh handwriting kind of style across the front of the jumper i'm sure the jumper cut has been done to precise um it has got some sort of influence behind it i love that the cuffs are really long and extended that's again is that more of a 70s thing right um the arms aren't as sh the, the arms aren't as short as they would have been maybe or puffy as some of the other 70s sweatshirts but i like the fact that they're really really long so then you can kind of roll them up a little bit kind of similar to people where they used to roll up the sleeves of their um or the cuff sorry of their bape jumpers so you can rebuild the back of the bape head that was quite a little cool thing that people used to do back in the day so i like that little touch there um, next image you have uh, again some really cool the jeans are great because um Again, I'm I'm pretty sure it's just a kind of like you know uh, two designers geeking out of each other, but I like that they allowed um, Jound to put Jound essentially on the back leather pocket of the jeans instead of APC, which is really cool addition there. Um, again, you must have geeked out on there. And on the right hand side, you've got this amazing is it a nylon bag on the right hand side, a really cool size. Um, again, a bag, a kind of everyday bag that you can use, and you know the classic uh, Jound aesthetic, a, a sweat shoot, a sweatshirt tracksuit. Um, with a great back pocket, which you know I've always used on sweatshirts. Actually, I've, I'm you know what I'm a big fan of. I'm I'm not a big fan of sweat of sweatpants that have pockets with zips on them. 
it always, you know, it's always kind of rubs against you. Because you're naturally, I don't know why, but you always kind of, when I'm wearing sweatsuits or tracks, I'm always got my hands in my pockets. And I love when the sweatpants have really exaggerated, massive pockets. I remember I had one pair of sweatpants that I bought. It might have been a Gilda one or some other style. I, I regret not having them anymore because I, I cut them into shorts and then they're ripping. But they had these pockets that essentially came down maybe up to your knee. They were insanely big. Um, but you could fit anything in there, right? So you ended up walking around the street with these massive balloons on the side of your legs. But I love the aesthetic. So I like the fact that they don't have any zips in the pockets. And they also have the addition of the back pocket, which I always use to kind of chuck in a pair of keys or whatever it may be. Um, uh, yeah, you've got the sweatshirt in black and then it's got APC on the front of the sleeve. You've got the um, Jown logo, which looks maybe a little bit similar to Champion. Maybe that's where the inspiration come from. The sort of like script of Champion kind of done in a Jown. Well, the, yeah, the Champion logo instead like done in a Jown style. And again, black sweatsh- uh, gray, or mild gray sweatshirt, which I'm sure he was obsessed over because if you know Jown again on the mood board, he's always obsessing over uh, different different styles of mild gray sweatshirt. So this must have been a really cool moment for him in that regard. And then you've got another image of the black track suit as well. Sorry, the black sweatsuit hoodie with some nice drawstrings there. A, a pair of light blue denim jeans, I'm sure are going to be super popular. This That color of jean has been the standout color I've seen so far on the streets. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure what who started that trend, but I've seen a, the amount of girls I've seen wearing, or especially wearing these kind of color jeans, like essentially, you know, light blue washed out um, color of jeans with no with no uh, slits on her knee or anything. I've seen more girls wearing that color than anything, or especially high-waisted, and they usually have a frayed um, cuffs. Um, I like that they don't have, or frayed hem, sorry. I like that they don't have them on these. Maybe they're selfish, maybe they're not. I'm not sure if the sneakers are included in the collaboration as well, but they look pretty cool. Um, very um, simple, kind of like dad style trainers you got there. And in the last two slides, you have a nice big tote bag. Oh, the shoes look amazing. Isn't it? I'm not sure if the shoes are included. They're essentially like, um, what would you call those shoes? Underground creepers, right? Similar to those kind of style shoes. Some nice stiff uh, selfish denim, indigo denim jeans there. A nice massive tote bag that APC is always famous for. And John does a really good job as well for that. That sweatshirt looks really cool. I like the cut of that sweatshirt. It sits really, really well. I'm sure this is going to sell out like fucking hotcakes. Um, there's a, some images here of the items in the line sheet for you guys to check out as well. But you can see that in the link below. And then a cool little video here too from APC Paris. Some of the behind the scenes footage. Looks fucking cool, man. I love it. I'm all over it. Definitely all over it. I want to see what it looks like. What does that mean? This is the fourth collection of APC and John. I'm pretty sure I thought it was the first one. Um, it's today. John invite you to celebrate the launch of APC Interaction 4, November 14th, 7 p.m. at the shop in Mercer. Talk between... Oh, there's going to be a, an actual talk as well with um, John then... Uh, with John... John Tutuo. Tutuo? Tutuo? How do you pronounce it? John Tutuo? I don't know how you pronounce his name. And John, that's 7th. It was there yesterday anyway, so maybe someone's recorded it. Definitely check that out. The collection has dropped yesterday too on the 14th. Not sure if all of it's going to be available right now. We can actually check it on the shop now and see if it's actually available. Is it available to buy still? Is it available on his site or is it can you only buy it from their site? Oh, it's available on his site too, but it's all sold out as per usual. I'm not surprised. But yeah, everything's sold out. And that, well, most of the t shirts are sold out, but the sweatshirt's still there $280. Sweatpants are $210. The backpack is still available. The tote, it's interesting the stuff that sells out in it. The tote bag is sold out. Um, the keychain is sold out, and that's it. And a couple of t and one t shirt. Everything else is still available. So definitely recommend you check it out. A really cool collection, and I'm sure um, John or Justin is really happy with this as well. That's probably a dream collab, isn't it? You go from blogging about a brand and obsessing over the internet, and then suddenly you get the opportunity to make a, collab- a collaboration with them yourself and use their resources. It's just fucking incredible. So yeah, big up to him, and hope that sells out sooner rather than later. <laughs>